So there are a group of 1,200 cities, uh, differentiate themselves from C40 that they've been around a long time. They're a, a membership-based network of cities. The cities range from very, very small cities to very large cities. Um, they have a, a model similar to ours in some ways, that they have a regional, uh, they have regional representation, national representation in countries, and they have a, a secretariat based in Bonn in Germany. Um, our relationship with them, the kind of concrete thing that we do with them is they have a resilient cities work, uh, summit in May every year. Um, Jason, who's from um, the USUBC as well, he, he was, he's been involved in that for a number of years. It's a very high level meeting of officials and some mayors that are interested on um, developing this resiliency agenda in their cities. Um, I, I went to it last year, it was very fascinating. Um, I was quite impressed on how evolved the conversation of resiliency was at that level. Uh, it's a but great place where they exchange their strategies on how they deal with climate change and all of the issues related to resiliency. We've partnered with them because they want to bring industry to that summit. So this year for the first time they had a stream on buildings and they uh, had some of the industry players coming. So that it, it used to be very much a city only, uh, you know, officials and, and politicians, but they realised that uh, to deal with these issues of resiliency, they have to also broaden out their audience. So they're working with us and some of the other partners to bring industry to this conversation of resiliency at the city level. And these issues of resiliency at the city level generally are in the realm of influence of their decision making. It's not something that industry decides themselves. It's, it's, it's capital infrastructure spending, they have the budgets, they make the decisions. So that them leading this agenda and us being part of their conversation is very important. Um, so next year, Bonn, uh, May, um, it's May every year, if you want to get involved and you're interested in this you know, very much emerging issue of resiliency, come and talk to me and uh, we'll see how we can have a greater presence there as well because it would be really good to have more GBCs going and possibly going with your city uh, representatives as well. Um, it might, it might be that your cities are members of ICLEI, but they might not even know about this. ICLEI does a lot, and this is, has been a, a relatively niche um, topic within their broader network as well, which is starting to get traction in their broader network. So that's, it's emerging for everybody. It's interesting and exciting. Uh, it, we do discuss it, and it is discussed as part of the Sustainable Cities Initiative as well. The other thing that we do with ICLEI is they're a judge on our government leadership awards. Um, I haven't uh, heard the decisions, of course, top secret, um, but they participate in our government leadership awards and are very influential in getting some of the nominations from their cities as well. So it's nice to have that multi-pronged uh, partnership with their government leadership awards. They're about that's about it with ICLEI at the moment. We're looking at other opportunities, um, but they're the two tangible things at the moment. Thanks. Actually, Jane, while you're up there, we're going to segue right into our UN relationships. And thought you could you please uh, talk to us a bit about some of the UN initiatives like UNEP SPCI and UN Habitat. Yes, I'm not. I don't have much on UN Habitat, but UN SPCI. Um, uh, we've been involved, you know, with UN SPCI for for a number of years. The most recent um, partnership project that they've been looking at is really the taking the focus away from uh, the end use of buildings and the process of getting to um, an efficient building to the front end. What materials are we putting into our built environment? And really, if, and, and they've, I think it's been quite interesting being involved in that because when you look at the overall life cycle impact of the building, the sort of the materiality and the resource consumption side of it is huge. And we can't really just look at the end, the end of the process without looking at the kind of front end of what goes in. So this um, project that they're working on now is really just trying to map the space. You know, what are the issues around resource consumption? Who's doing work? What, uh, what, are, the, what are the possible um, areas we need to do more research? What are the gaps? 
and they'll be releasing their report uh, at their conference in November.